Pietro Grossi is a young Tuscan novelist. He was born in Florence. He's lived all over the world. Uh, he lived quite a long time in New York and he's been writing since he was eight years old. He published his first book when he was 22. He's today presenting two new books in English, both translated by Howard Curtis, both published by Pushkin Press. One is Fists, that's a series of three short novellas, and the second is his debut novel and it's called The Break. Pietro, tell me about the two books that Pushkin Press is bringing out. We've got Fists and we've got The Break. The Break. Uh, Fists is a collection of uh, three stories named um, Boxing, Horses and Monkey or The Monkey. It's basically the three stories um, about young men who struggle to get older, to get into the older time and older age. Um, the first one is about a, it's a boxing match basically. It's a story of a boxing match between two phenomenal young boxers of 15, 16 years old. The second story is about two brothers who are given two horses by their father because he's bored of, uh, he doesn't want to worry about them anymore. And uh, uh, the mother's not there, uh, we understand. And so these two, they, they need to uh, learn how to take care of the horses and these two animals will bring them in their, uh, right, in, in, into their um, adult age, let's say, their grown up age. The third story, the monkey, is uh, the, the main character is, is older, in his, let's say, late 20s, 30 years old. And it's uh, basically a picture of a 24 hours of his life in which he is told that his best friend, his uh, oldest and best friend, went mad and started acting like a monkey. And it's uh, uh, basically a story of him going back to his, for his uh, old city, let's say, and uh, going to visit his, his friend, who is actually naked and acting as a monkey in the room. So that's it. The second book is called The Break, and yes. that is your first novel. Tell me the story of The Break. The Break, um, the break is it's basically a story of, of a character uh, uh, called Dino who is a pavement um, um, worker, let's say. He paves streets with stones. And, uh, and he's also a phenomenal uh, pool player, Italian pool player, which is not like American pool or it's, it's played this weird game with three balls and little pins in the middle, but it's a very, very complicated game. It's something in between pool and chess somehow. Very complicated, very difficult game, very su superb and very, very beautiful game. And uh, it's, it's the story of his perfect life, very geometrical, very perfect, being destructed by uh, several news, some good, some bad. And it's basically a story of the struggle to get uh, to, to front somehow this new life and the uncertainty of life in general. This in a very short synopsis. <laughs> Pietro, we've um, had the, the stories behind the novels. Now, I want to talk to you about your style. You have a very distinctive style. It's already been commented on. You've been compared with Hemingway and Salinger and Nick Hornby as well. How did you develop this very distinctive style? I have no idea in the sense that I've been struggling with writing. I have, I have no idea why I started, I began writing. I just, I was a kid and I, and I, I liked the image of myself in front of the, type, uh, in the typewriter. And um, uh, this thing uh, from being something I liked uh, to being a game, let's say, it became something uh, bigger, uh, like a, a very intense, passionate and uh, suffering love story and um, so and I actually also tried to quit at a certain point so I said this thing is too bad for me I mean this whole thing of writing is too frustrating is too bad for me so I tried to quit but I couldn't <laughs> so what if you ask me now today because uh, why I write is because if not I feel worse <laughs> and uh, while I was struggling uh, 
trying to deal with this very particular, peculiar, beautiful woman uh, that kind of ruined my life and saved my life on the other side. Uh, I just needed to find a way to do it in the best and the, in the healthiest way possible. And at a certain point I, find, I found a couple of tricks, a um, couple of which from Hemingway's interviews, a couple of others from other, I don't know, any kind of source. And those few tricks uh, uh, brought me to, uh, prob yeah, basically brought me to fists and, 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 and writing in the way I write. But it's basically just the, 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 the struggle to try to do it in a decent way and feel happy with it. I mean, not happy with, with the result, because I'm never happy with the result, but happy while I'm doing it, at least, yes. Um, and that's probably what's more in my so-called style, but I have no idea where it comes from. Pietro, if we look at the, the content of your novels, how would you summarize what you're actually writing about? I think the reason why I, I um, keep on writing about getting older is because that is that has been throughout my life my greatest struggle uh, if uh, the, the, the person that is sitting now on this chair in this room is basically the result of a huge continuous fight between parts of the building let's say parts of the same the same building on how to make the best life possible, the, 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 the most intense life possible. So there's one, one side that would say, no, you have to live life at the best every day as if it was the last one. And, and you know, that's the part that made me risk to crash into walls and to crash myself in general in any way. And the other side of myself of always uh, saying, no, you know, it's, life is putting bricks one on top of the other, the solid part. The, and this continuous fight made what I'm now, and, and I, don't, I don't know if I solved the problem myself, um, uh, but that's, that's why, at least till now, my first, my, my first struggle was about um, talking, um, was about getting older and finding a way to live uh, uh, an intense and proper life, let's say. Pietro Grossi, thank you very, very much. Um, let's hope that everybody who reads these two wonderful books enjoys them as much as I have. Thank you.